I wonder what they packed it in. Oh, no, it looks like it's in the original box. I'm surprised. So it's just a black bin liner over the original box. So my Corsair wireless gaming headset is going to be replaced by a Turtle Beach Stealth 450 wireless 7.1 gaming headset. So I found it. So the next thing I need to do is get uh, it on charge for a while, charged up, see if it's all working, and then we can do a review of this, uh, do a small unboxing, and then I can compare it to the Corsair headset that it's replacing. So let's have a look what's actually in the box then and if it's any good. You may be wondering what the box behind is now. Um, then that's for something later on for another video. Something very, very special that's just arrived. So I'll just get that out of the way over there. And then we can concentrate on what we're looking at today. So the box arrived. It did have a little bit of damage on the corner there. So I was a bit worried. And it is open, of course. It is second hand. It's bought from eBay uh, for a very low price. So I wasn't expecting much. I wasn't even expecting to have the box. So that's a bonus for a start. There are some of the specs on the box, of course. It's 100% wireless. It has uh, the 7.1 channel surround sound with DTS. Superhuman hearing. Uh, it helps you hear the, the footsteps and the sounds around you. Uh, variable mic positioning and monitoring. You've actually got an adjuster on the headset itself to vary the amount of microphone feedback directly into the headset. So you can turn it up so you can hear your voice loudly or you can turn it down completely so you don't hear your voice at all. And of course up to 15 hours of gaming it says there. We'll see about that. The Corsair used to be, well at least a day's worth. So we'll see what that is like when we come to it and when we actually start using it. On the back of the box then you've just got the same information virtually again with a few extra bits you've got the uh, detachable mic there as mentioned and you can actually use it with a mobile phone or tablet the included lead and that's it really so let's get it open and see if i've wasted my money or not looking good so far so i'll put that up over there and take the plastic off so the headset itself looks in pretty new condition actually not bad at all um, we'll put that down we'll come back to that in a moment let's see what else is in the box so under the little cover there you've got a tray with some gel in to take away the moisture you've got the lead to plug into your mobile phone or laptop or even tablet so that's there you've got a, your detachable microphone and then you've got your receiver as you can see it has been opened as I said it is used so I was expecting this your receiver I think it's 2.4 gigahertz I'm not exactly sure but it's a radio receiver it's not a Bluetooth receiver and then finally you've got your charging cable type a to micro sd i say finally because of course the last thing in here is always the instruction manual which of course goes to the drawer of obscurity so away with that so let's just move everything out of the way and we'll have a closer look at the headset itself so it looks as i said in pretty good condition um shall we see if it powers on the power button is on the side here. I don't know if you actually hear that. I'll take it up here and I'll put it to the microphone on the camera to so see if you can actually hear it. But powering off. And then when I press it again, powering on. So I'm not sure if you hear that, but it actually is a voice message there to say when it's powering on and off. Headset, of course, is adjustable. This is where I had the problem with the Corsair headset. It seems a lot sturdier on this one, I've got to say. They are much lighter than the Corsair. The cups look about the same 
as they did on the Corsair. That fit over my ears quite well. They're over here headphones, of course. They've got noise cancelling as well. And then, oh, right, now then. We have some damage there. And that, I believe, is the microphone mute button. I don't know if you can see that very well there. But uh, it's quite scratched and it doesn't come back out when you press it. Okay, so we'll come to that in a moment. What else do we have here? We have, of course, the connector for the tablet and mobile phone, the five pin connector there. So that just plugs in and then into your phone or tablet and you can use it as a straightforward headset. Don't think you can get the 7.1 when you're using that, by the way, uh, unless it's got some sort of virtualization inside of it. Micro USB for charging. Then you've got the first of the two adjusters. The bottom one here is for your microphone, so your monitoring adjusters. You can turn your microphone up and down, and you can hear it actually through the headset. You can hear your own voice, and there's no lag or delay. You just hear your voice immediately fed back straight into the ear cups. You have some presets on a button there. I'll come to those in a moment. And then you have the main volume for the headset as well. On the other side, you have your connector for putting your microphone in. And I believe it only goes in one way. So you see a flat edge there and a flat edge there. And it goes in like that. And that's the way they're used. And that is, is uh, yeah, this says uh, left hand and right hand. So you know which side to put it on. Now, we need to look first of all then at the presets button. And also, I'm going to have to have a look at this. And I think I may have to take it apart just to see what's going on inside there. Maybe just the buttons come off or something. And it should be quite easy. I think you can just... Yeah, you can just take the cups off there, and there's a few screws in there. You just take them off and screw them, and we'll see how it goes. Now then, I've actually taken them apart and taken out the part that's broken off, and there's a tiny, tiny, I don't even know if you can see it very well on the camera, little micro switch there. Uh, not particularly well engineered, I've got to say. The rest of it looked fine inside. But this was just held on by two little bits of solder, one either side. And of course, when you press the button, it presses that little micro switch on the end and switches the microphone on and off. But unfortunately, there's no support for it. So obviously that button got pressed a bit too hard and snapped it off. And then that button got stuck inside and there was an attempt made to pull the button back out in an effort, perhaps, to try and get it working again. But um, yeah, not... Uh, not the best of setups that. But that said, all said and done, the headphones are still working and the microphone still works. So I'm just going to try and put this back on. And then finally, the last thing there is this preset button that we mentioned. Uh, apparently, this gives you a bass boost or a treble boost uh, for your audio so you can adjust your audio settings. Uh, you can adjust it to have a bass, treble, or bass and treble as well, or just normal, and it's just sequential. Just press the button. Now, let's see what these are like on the head, and see what they feel like in use. Well, the first thing I've got to say is just how nice they feel on the head. They sit nice and firmly on the head, but they don't clamp the head like the Corsairs used to. They don't squeeze on the sides. And that's important because I wear glasses and the Corsairs used to squeeze the arms of the glasses into my face. Quite uncomfortable at times, especially after a long time of gaming. These are nice and light. They fit firmly and comfortably over the years, but they don't press in just like the Corsairs used to. And I've got to say, the sound is incredible. I can hear every little sound around me. I can hear the footsteps, I can hear what the machinery is doing, and indeed I can hear any little telltale sounds. This is dead by daylight and you really need to hear what's going on around you to uh, actually survive the game. There's uh, the wraith there, better get away quickly. And yes, it's really good, it's really clear, really intense really. It, it puts you, immerses you in the game itself, and little sounds around you go off and it, you're quite you know, frightened and you jump when you hear them. 
So yes, I'm really pleased with these. I can live without the microphone mute button, that's no problem at all. Might at some point try to repair it, I don't know, but uh, I don't see I need to really. So yes, these are excellent. So that's my review then of this, the Turtle Beach Stealth 450 Wireless Surround 7.1 DTS gaming headset. I, uh, I highly recommend it, and I look forward to see just how much of a battery life I'm going to get out of them. For now though, thank you for watching.